homelessness is a big issue in Greater Victoria. And for Indigenous women on the street, there are a lot of serious safety concerns. In this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stratton looks at a new pilot project that is trying to help change that. For Indigenous women fleeing violence, Spockin House is a sanctuary. It's a pretty significant issue. I think um, being the only culturally supportive housing provider in the city, we're really understanding um, that the need is far beyond what we're able to support right now. And sadly, far too many Indigenous women end up on the street. A lot of the women who experience violence at home end up being evicted due to whatever has happened in their household. And so that's very difficult. That's how they would end up on the streets is because their partner was violent with them. They then face more violence on the street. So the Aboriginal Coalition to End Homelessness is launching a three-year pilot project with Victoria Police to try and address the serious safety concerns. They face a lot of violence and um, racism and um, they just don't feel safe where they are located. So. It was important for us to hear them. They're also working to build better relationships with police since there's often reluctance to go to law enforcement. There's a lot of distrust I think that exists in the community just given sort of the legacy of colonialism, um, the displacement from land and family that has happened. Um, and a lot of that does come back to law enforcement and the role that they've played in that. It's a learning experience. It's an opportunity where we've been able to grow and learn uh, from each other and build a higher level of trust. Victoria's top cop says he jumped at the chance to take part. It's really incumbent upon all of us as community leaders to step up to the table and to be working with our Indigenous communities and our, and our leaders to find out what is it that we can do to be more collaborative and to work together. It's going really well. Julia realizes it'll take time, but she's eager to make progress and propel positive change. It's important that we're beginning to break down those barriers by just meeting people at that human level, of just taking that time to get to know each other beyond um, the institutions um, and those misconceptions that we might have of each other. And they hope to expand the pilot project island-wide to make an even bigger difference. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.